Hi, my name is Jesper Simonsen. I'm a senior SharePoint consultant at the Lego Group. And today I'm going to show you how you can use a search like filtering of your lists. So for this demo, let's imagine that you have a list of uh, library books. So you have all of the, the content, the title and the description of the books. And uh, you want to be able to search them in order to, uh, to find the things that you are looking for. But you don't want them the, the results to be at actually search result. Instead, you want your list of items to be filtered based on your search words. So, how do you do that? Let's do it. To start with, we will have to create a new uh, view. So let's start by doing that. And I'll base it just of the all items view. And for this demo, I'll just call it filter search um, and we would want to have some of these columns no let's just keep them no let's move that one and uh, let's just uh, do that for now the next thing we want to do is to add a web part on the page so you go to Site Actions, Edit Page, and you click Add a Web Part. Now from the uh, Categories list, you go to the Forms and select HTML Form Web Part and click Add. Now what we want to do now is that we want to have the uh, team library web part uh, equipped with a parameter. So what we do is we go to the uh, list option and we click on edit list in SharePoint Designer. This will open SharePoint Designer and uh, will allow us to um, will allow us to add a parameter that we'll be using for our filtering. Uh, and the reason for that is that we uh, don't want to do a straightforward equals filter, which is the default thing when we're talking filters. So uh, instead of that, we want to have a, um, a filter that we can use the clause contains on. Let's see if I can refine my mouse here. So here we have it. And we have just uh, created this view, so we we'll click on this view. And uh, a little note here is that you might be running into an issue where you uh, will be prompted to, uh, uh, to log in as a different user. And that can be uh, because you maybe have um, imported or upgraded your SharePoint site from 2007 to 2010 and there is some uh, things that uh, are not uh, necessarily uh, equal in 2010 and 2007 because of the master page setup. So if you are prompted continuously to log in as a different user and you have no luck with it, you will need to get hold of your SharePoint admin or, or business support person uh, and have them help you out with this uh, SharePoint designer part of this setup. So what you do now is that you click on the uh, list, the list view web part here, and then you go to the parameters and you click new parameter and you need to give it a name. I just call mine search filter and you click OK. You don't set the source or anything, just like that. And that's uh, actually all that we need to do inside of uh, SharePoint Designer. So now I just click Save. And it saves it back into the um, into the SharePoint 
library. And you simply close back the. Yes, I just told you so. Thank you. Now, this team library web part has a parameter that we can use. What we'll do now is that we will hook up a connection between these two. So, if you go to the drop down menu on the web form, HTML web form here, and you say connections. And you can say, say, oops, come on, provide values to team library. And then you will be prompted with a little dialogue. And that's this one says that you will provide a connection type for the team library, so you need to, to uh, view it from the right angle. So this is from the team uh, library point of view, and here we need to have the uh, get parameters from selected and we have a field value that's called t1 t1 is the uh, name of the uh, field in the html uh, form web part and we need to uh, bind this to the search field of the parameter that we just made inside of SharePoint designer so click finish to that And first of all, it really doesn't make any difference. It doesn't show in any way, but that's because we're not yet using the filter. So let's go ahead into the team library and change the view of that. So edit web part. And edit the current view. And what you do here is that you go down to the filter part oops, and you say you would, for instance, like to have the, um, the title filtered with a contains value. No, now that begins with contains value of this search filter. And the way that you input it is like this. And then write the name of it. I don't know what those uh, parentheses is called in English, so I'm just showing it for you. And here, the same, you may, wa may want to have the description field filters uh, as well. Like that. And you can put in as many columns as you would like. Just add more columns here. For now, let's just say OK to this one. And the first thing you will notice is that uh, now your team library comes up empty. And the reason for that is because we're now effectively requesting to have all items shown that contains the value of nothing or null in the value of, of title or description. So if I'm to start with like saying here, Info path. Oops. If I could spell, that would help. Then you will see that now it comes up with one item here, designing Microsoft Office Info path and Form Service 2007, and uh, that's actually it. Um, we would like to maybe have all of the items shown beforehand so that we don't have to um, uh, type in something in order to see all the items in the list. Now out of the box there's no way to do it but luckily I have found a way so let's go ahead and do that. Again we need to add a web part so we will go in and say side actions edit page and add a new one. This time we want to add a filter web part. So we click filters in the category and then text filter and add. And the trick here is to have two parameter to the team library. So what we're gonna do with the, the text filter one is that we're gonna edit it and set up a 
default value of the search filter and then connect it to the team library as well as a provider of a parameter. So let's go in here, advanced filter options and set a default value. And the tricky part here is to know your list content uh, in order to decide which default value is going to hit everything. Unfortunately, you can't uh, enter a space. That's not going to work. But what you can do is to pick a value of something that you will presume is available in any of these items in your list. And when we're talking plain text, um, it's my experience that you will always have an E somewhere in the text. So providing a default value of E is a, is a pretty good uh, possibility to get something hit. And also we don't want to um, we don't want to show this text filter. It's, it has to have a an act of being a hidden um, web part, and its only job is to provide provide a default value to the to the team library, so that we'll have content in it whenever we are not explicitly searching for something else. Uh, so what we'll do here is to set the Chrome type to none, and also the uh, the Chrome state to minimized. Uh, for now, I'm just going to click apply. And the next thing I'm going to do is to set up the connection. So going up to the drop down menu of the text filter and set connection. And here we have to pick send filter values to and then team library again. Now we don't want to do, use it for filtering because filtering is by default and equals. So, we, but luckily we'll get the same dialog. So what we do here is just switch over to get parameters from, and go ahead, and then from the text filter into the search filter, we will want to have the value. So we say finish to this one. Now. Before we uh, close down, let's just click OK to this one. And let's verify that our team library now, in fact, is getting its values from both these web parts. I've seen some situation where it's kind of forgets the one. So let's go in here and say connections, get parameters from. And here we'll notice that. It's so now the team library gets its parameters both from the team from the text field and from the HTML web form. Okay, so let's uh, stop editing. Go to page and say stop editing. And as you can see now, we don't have the text field visible. We only have this box. We might to have a text on it. Uh, just to display that uh, you can use this box to search something. But for now, you can see that you have all of the uh, items from the list, even though there's uh, yeah. <laughs> my computer is a bit slow here, even though there's, uh, there's nothing in the uh, filter box. And once we then Put some into something in here. I'll go for info path again. Then we'll get back to have. It. And once we clear it, and press enter, we'll get back to having all of the content of the list. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you will uh, enjoy this little technique. And uh, thank you. Bye-bye.